Whoa, 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 whoa. And we'll see how it goes. I keep doing these videos and all of a sudden I get a bunch of gas and I like I guess it's from the beer. Oh well, worth it. Mm, we are having some dead guy ale this evening. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel where I talk and do everything pinball. So if that sounds interesting to you, then hit that subscribe button down below. Happy Independence Day, 4th of July, whatever you want to call it, but it also marks my two year anniversary on YouTube when it comes to pinball content. And to mark that occasion, I figure I would read my reviews. Now, just recently, This Week in Pinball has put up a pinball promoter's database. And essentially, it gives like individuals the ability to go on there and scroll through like the white pages or yellow pages of pinball, uh, of all the content providers out there when it comes to pinball. And you have the ability to leave reviews for said content providers good bad whatever so i already had i think a few a few reviews and so i put up on my youtube channel to uh anybody else out there that wanted to send a review good bad ugly whatever was we're just gonna see what happens so i have got 10 <laughs> i've got 10 reviews and we're gonna go through these i might go through all of them and i might just go through some of them because i'd like to implement this in maybe not all of my videos but a video here and there just kind of throw a hey here's a new review put it out there so strap in boys and girls let's do this let's start from the oldest and work our way to the newest reviews shall we mm -hmm. Alrighty then let's see if i can screen share this here we are First review, five stars. Title of this review is A Great Mix of Information and Entertainment. So I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Carrie Hardy provides the right mix between information and entertainment. In the end, that exactly fits and services where the pinball community is today. This host's personality and age brings a needed younger perspective to what many erroneously assume is a hobby for an older generation. I highly recommend CH to keep you up to date on pinball in a fun way. Enjoy it, and remember, it's pinball. That is from Rich S. Thank you, Rich, for the very kind words towards me on that review. You didn't have to, but you took the time and did that, and that's awesome to hear stuff like that. Uh, thank you for watching. Moving on to the next one. Great production value and content. Five star review, production value on Carrie's videos are great. Content varies from reviews to restoration. Not afraid to give an unbiased opinion. From Jeff D. Thank you, Jeff, for your review and input. And I'm glad you enjoy the variousness of my channel. I like to keep it that way. It's just, I talk and do everything pinball, like I say. So that goes from old school machines to new age machines and thoughts to actual physical interaction with games. And when it comes to my unbiased opinion, yes, that is very true also. I would lie, I don't want to lie to you people, so whenever I'm talking about a certain machine, and if I do have biasness towards it, I will tell you, like, hey, just so you know, I'm a little biased because of this. So, there you go. On to the next one. Okay, this one is also another five-star review. Great content. Carrie's channel is awesome. As he says, I talk and do everything pinball. Great in-depth channel covering restorations, opinions, and everything pinball. Not to mention he was the host for the 2020 Twippies that were dreamt, I guess that's supposed to be streamed, streamed through his channel from Travis L. Yes, 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 we did stream the Twippies through my channel. And uh, thank you very much for the kind words and the five-star review, Travis. And I tell people, and I was making sure I was as clear as freaking as I possibly could when it came to the Twippies, guys. For those of you that think that I did a lot of editing with the Twippies or anything, no, I really didn't do, like, nowhere near 
as much editing as Emoto did. Emoto Harney did, I'd say, 90 some odd percent of the editing and everything that was involved to make that show happen. Literally, I got a lot of the 3D renderings from my brother. He did the trophies and everything and sent those to her. Um, and I think putting it all together, that was all her. So that was that. So I definitely give her props and uh, do not envy her uh, all her efforts towards making that show as good as it was. On to the next one. Five star review. Honest reviewer. Brutally honest sometimes. I love how he doesn't sugarcoat the games. Also, I love how when he has issues and then sees the games and the issues go away or are even worse. Carrie, I think you could design a game by Mark V. Well, Mark, I'm going to tell you right now, yes, I do not like to sugarcoat things. Uh, there are times where I start to say things, and I'm like, that's too harsh. I don't have to say it that bad, but if I don't like something, I'm going to say I don't like it. There's things that I would would say, but I'm like, I can still say it without saying those words because I know it in my head, I'm just like, that sounds worse than it actually is sometimes. And, uh, but when it far as me coming to designing, uh, designing a game, I don't, I don't think I could, honestly. I, I mean, it, it would be an interesting task if I had the time and stuff like that to attempt to, but I definitely do not think I could do better than people that we currently have in this industry without a doubt. Whoa, on to the next one. This is a little bit of a lengthy one right here. That's what she said. That's my joke. Damn it, Dwight. Uh, five star review. Just a fun, easy going pinball show. I stumbled upon this channel a while ago and found how to clean. How does that say? And found a how. Oh, okay, I got you. I found a how to clean and weigh your plate. Wax. I'm guessing that's what he meant to say right there. Wax your plate field video. I was hooked from then on. From the start, he is relatable, honest, and the kind of guy I would actually have a conversation with. I find that we have similar likes and pins and gives no holds barred reviews of things and will really let you know what he thinks. And the best part is, if he changes his mind or he was wrong about something, he will absolutely let you know and take responsibility. The show is just super relatable. And now I only have one pin and just started my collection. But watching the barn build of the Adams Family Restore is just really riveting can't wait to see it in the end but it's not a super polished show and that is what bolsters its charm and integrity for me just a guy who loves pinballs and wants to share and invites you along to be a part of an amazing hobby in today's ring the bell and click subscribe i find that i am selective of what content i want to be alerted about and i find that the topics and work that he is doing growing his channel is well worth both the clicks I will tell you as well. Good, it's still going. That's what she said. I will tell you this as well. As mentioned before, the Adams Family Barn find is just riveting. One of the guys at work is a big pinball guy. He brought me over to the dark side by getting a machine. He will pop in from time to time and we will talk shop. I showed him the first video and he was hooked. From the clear coating at home to working and cleaning these machines, I have spent hours just watching. Ducks and all. And if you are reading this review, Carrie, please finish up that Addis Family build. I am dying over here. All right, David B., thank you for the very lengthy review right there. That is awesome. You didn't have to do that, and you did. Um, so uh, a lot of great compliments in there. So first of all, Thank you for the, all of that. Um, a couple of things. Uh, we just finished the Adams Family Restoration Series, so this was posted a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, that, I, at that time, the video was not posted. I literally, we just did the finale for it. So I have answered your beck and call. You now know what the Adams Family looks like in the end, and I hope it meets your expectations. Uh, when it comes to the ducks... Those weren't ducks. Those were chicks. Those were little baby chickens. <laughs> uh, either way, uh, if you think the chickens were bad, I've got quail in there right now that you may end up hearing in my future Swords of Fury videos. And uh, those guys are pain in my ass, too. All right. So, yes, once again, David B., thank you for the kind words. Moving on to the next one. All right. Great channel. Another five-star review. All Things Pinball sums it up. 
I like it all, but if I had to pick, I'd say the restoration work with new products a close second. I will buy some Penn Stadiums because of your reviews. Always looking for Carrie's next video. Cheers from Dave. All right, Dave, thank you very much for that input. Um, Penn Stadiums is one of the products that I, I do vouch for. Uh, I stand behind it because it serves me well. It has done good for all of my machines. I, I stand behind it. Uh, they are not a sponsor for any of my videos, so don't let that think that that's any kind of you know sway, persuasion on my part. Like I said in previous videos, if I find a product and that I find that it's very useful and I enjoy it and it's a good product, I will promote it without it being a sponsor. So there you go. Carrie has a great channel. Carrie puts time and care into each of his videos and also the machines he restores. His love and passion for the hobby is evident for all all to see and he tells it like it is about all machines something i can't do quite yet in my videos and as i have said many times has the best theme music ever todd t i think i know who that is that is the good old buddy of mine todd tucky from tnt amusements i believe everybody in this hobby knows who that man is i'm sure a lot of you out there are in this hobby because of that man i am in this hobby because of that man i mean granted yeah jason my buddy jason brought me into the hobby but i have learned and started out and knowing as much as I do because of watching his channel. On to the next review. A true hobbyist. Kerry Hardy is one of the channels you can't get enough of. He has a great personality and is one of the true hobbyists of pinball. He is also not shy to voice his opinions of what's going on in the pinball world with game releases and game manufacturers. He can be blunt, but we need more of that in this hobby. His restoration videos are absolutely amazing, and I enjoy every meticulous attention to detail he puts into his machines. I wouldn't mind cracking open a few beers and talking pinball with him. Keep up the good work, Carrie. From Paul M. Paul! I believe this is the same Paul that I'm thinking of that uh, is in there whenever I do my premieres. Paul is one hell of a guy. Uh, he has like sent you know, money through the videos and he doesn't have to, but he does. And it's one of those things where I'm, it's, it's an unexpected thing. Whenever I put out video premieres and stuff like that, I don't go, all oh, right, it's time to make some money. No, I put it out there because I want to be involved and I hope you enjoy the content as much as I do as I'm watching it to give me the ability to converse with all of you out there. But he willingly throws money at the videos and stuff. And, uh, it's really nice to see actual words that people feel about my channel so i greatly appreciate the kind words that you have bestowed upon me right there uh, paul and i think this is okay i got two more one of the best out there right now so i'm guessing he's saying as of right now that could change <laughs> Five star. I met Kerry one year at Texas Pinball Festival. He is one of the nicest guys you will ever meet. He always seems to be in a great mood and very upbeat. He will rub off on you for sure. I love his show because it's so much different than anything else out here. His production is off the hook. You can tell he takes pride in what he puts out there with his high quality videos. If he starts drinking a beer during the show, you better strap in because there are, <laughs> there are, those are the best episodes to watch. The only negative thing I will say about Kerry is about his hearing is bad. He likes to play his games at full volume sometimes it seems. Other than that, he is a top notch in my book. Alright, okay. Now I know who this is. Alright, James. James T. There's a story behind this whole volume thing right here. And that goes back to TPF 2019. And that was the year that I brought in my uh, completely shopped out Last Action Hero. Now, a lot of you know that I have my own personal mix on there, and it does very well. Uh, the thing is, <laughs> for whatever reason, the I'm going to assume it was the bass or something, but it was vibrating, the shaker motor was vibrating the machine enough to where it kept on moving the potentiometer on my pen sound. So over time, like hours that volume would just slowly get louder and louder and louder to where the game was just completely loud. And I'm talking to the screen. So the volume was like ridiculously loud at a lot of points to the, to the point to where you would not be in the actual 
exhibitor hall and you would hear my machine screaming that ACDC portion it's Dino Might and, but the thing is people were still playing it but I'm sure they were playing it going good god this machine is loud and I was drowning out a lot of the other games that were around there it made it seem like I was a total asshole and that is not what I was trying to do I had to keep going over there taking the back glass off and adjusting the volume down uh, it was a little embarrassing because I wasn't trying to draw that attention to the, to the game. I was like, why is it doing this? So that's where he's getting off on the whole listening to my games at too loud a volume. So thanks, Jay, for the review and the kind words on there. And the final review on here says, great show and Carrie keeps getting better. Zach. Now, I don't know which Zach that is. I doubt very seriously that Zach Sharp. <laughs> it might even be Zach Mini. I don't know. But it just says Zach. So it could be a number of different kinds of Zachs. Um, you know what? Screw it. Let's just say that it is Zach Sharp. Thanks, Zach. <laughs> I didn't I didn't necessarily leak the TMNT video or pictures. I just helped them be leaked. So there's that. All right, guys, that's going to wrap this video up. I just wanted to basically uh, read off my reviews to all of you and make sure that each one of you gets the recognition for taking the time and putting in a review. And like I said, throughout my videos, if I see that I get more reviews, then I will put, I will kind of put those in there in my videos every once in a while. Like I said, good, bad, bring it on. I'm reading them. We'll just see how it goes. Um, but by all means, uh, thank you guys for the past two years on YouTube. My channel has continuously grown and I'm hoping it continues to do so. And I believe it will continue to do so if I keep seeing people like this that come on here and, you know, generally appreciate what I put out there. So that's always good. I've got many videos on the way, you guys. I've got some news, uh, good news, bad news, uh, but I've got a lot of other videos. So don't be too surprised if I put out a surplus amount of videos over the course of the next few days. It is the it is the 4th of July and everything and if things go the way they're planned tomorrow then I definitely have a lot of plans for this channel in the future. So if you like what you've seen here then give me the thumbs up and if you haven't already then hit that subscribe button down there that way you can be notified of whenever I upload something for your viewing pleasure. Until next time guys, peace out. This host personality and age brings a needed younger perspective to what many Aaron what the hell this host personality and bring this host personality and age brings a needed younger perspective to what Aaron error erroneous erroneously erroneously this host's personality and age brings a needed younger perspective to what many erroneously... Ah! Ha <laughs> I said it! Yes! Ah, oh, shit, I gotta say it again now.